furious shock and big surprise as fearless Sunday Igboho takes Yoruba nation to another level. So let's see what Sunday Igboho did that surprised everyone, most especially the Yoruba nation. As we take the details of the report, Sunday Igboho Adeo Iomo, widely known as Igboho Sunday, a prominent advocate for the Yoruba nation, has submitted a petition to the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Kahe Stama, urging consideration of the secessionist movement in Nigeria. Why? The contents of the petition have been labeled confidential. Sources from Sahar report indicate that it primarily addresses the Yoruba nation agitation. The petition was submitted on Saturday on behalf of Professor Ade Banji Akintoye, the leader of the Yoruba Nation Movement, accompanying Sunday Igboho during this significant event, were notable dignitaries, including diaspora youth leader, Prophet Ulugo Nuluwa. Vice President of Ife Ladon, Apopo Fataya Ogurigbidjo, General Secretary of Yoruba Worldwide Media, Alahaji Adeyeye, and Yoruba Nation Movement member, also known as Paul Odebi. The Yoruba Nation Movement is seeking urgent intervention from the United Kingdom Prime Minister and his movement to support their aspiration for the establishment of a country predominantly owned by the indigenous Yoruba people. In a related note, Banji Akintoye, a Yoruba historian and key figure in the struggle for the independence of the Odua nation, previously accused the Nigerian government of attempting to persuade Sunday Igboho to abandon his agitation movement. And so, Akintoye recounted an incident during Igboho's attention in the Benin Republic when a former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Burtai, retired, allegedly used his influence to sneak a document into Sunday Igboho's prison cell. This document reportedly promised Igboho's significant financial rewards in exchange for renouncing his quest for a Yoruba nation. However, Akintoye stated that Sunday Igboho refused to sign the paper, which was subsequently taken back by Burutai, the retired Lieutenant General of Army Chief of Staff. He said, he has been released completely he has won the hearts of the people. 
here for his strength of character. They brought money to this young man. How many of their young men will do what he did? And he refused the money. And so, the former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Burutai, came to him in the prison, promising him billions of naira if he would just sign a paper that Burutai brought for him to sign, lure him to sign, but he refused. That he, Sunday Igbohu, should say he had renounced the Yoruba nation struggle and agitation. That he didn't want the Yoruba nation struggle anymore. That he had opted out of it. This was the content of the letter brought by former chief of staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Burtai, to Sunday Igbo to sign. So guys, how do you see to this whole matter? Where Sunday Igbo is forging ahead, taking a different dimension to get to his dream of the Yoruba nation agitation. In spite of all the barriers to persuade him to abandon the Yoruba nation agitation, and went as far to bribe him, but he refused. Now let's see what comes out of it. Will Sunday Igbo will one day have his way to have Yoruba nation? as is agitating, when you recall, person like Inamdi Kanu that refused to drop the Biafran movement agitation, today is suffering in the prison, the custody of the DSSS, as directed by the Nigerian government, is being roped with the case of treason will Sunday Igbo continue in the agitation of the Yoruba nation? Kindly share your opinion and drop your comment on the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thank you.